going to be an exciting time. I've got my bowl of veggies. I've got my pitcher of beet juice from last week. I've got my juicer all ready to go, and we are going to do this thing. So let's get started now. I'm going to be a little noisy, so I'm not going to give too much dialogue other than oohs and ahs. Feel free to clap and share. So we turn that bad boy on. I'm going to start off with the carrot. Simply press the carrot slowly through there. This way. Not a lot of rocket science involved in juicing. It's super easy. Feeling maybe some apple. I'm gonna try a couple of Brussels sprouts and see how it all shakes out. Maybe a cucumber half. You want to go slow enough as not to stress out the motor of the juicer. Take time here. Okay, so our pulp is starting to come out now. We're going to want that in there. All right, so the good stuff, the kale. The kale is going in. I find the kale does a little better with some liquid, so I'll pour in some beet juice. Uh, sweet potato. Keep things sweet. A little more apple. Let's go with another cucumber in there. And some more kale. This is what I'll be having for dinner. I'm looking forward to it. I've got this 
veggie soup, a tasty salad, and ha ha, two dates. So on to the meatballs. If you've got carnivores in your life and you're trying to juice and it's hard for you to do, then maybe just pick up some traditional oil, maybe a dipping sauce, whatever flavor you like. And we're gonna make these meatballs. All I've done is I have simply added 